My name is Jill Kreese and I'm honored to receive an FNR award for outstanding PhD thesis for my research on speech processing in the human brain carried out at KU Leuven. Understanding spoken language is fundamental to human connection. Yet we still don't know exactly how the brain transforms the sound waves of speech into meaningful language. So as the sound of my voice is traveling through your ears right now, what happens in your brain that makes you understand what I'm talking about? During my PhD, I combined neuroscience and linguistic theory to model how the brain processes natural spoken language. Traditional language experiments often use artificial stimuli to study speech processing, such as isolated sounds, words or phrases. But these don't reflect the complexity of real-world language. So I studied speech processing using a mix of behavioral and cognitive tests, brain recording techniques like EEG, and computational methods for data analysis. I worked with people who have different speech processing capacities. For example, older adults and patients with aphasia, a condition that affects one in three stroke patients and impairs speech and understanding of language. The computational analyses I conducted allowed me to pinpoint which neural subprocesses of speech break down in aphasia. For example, are there problems with processing the rhythm of speech or with linking words to their meanings? I identified key processes involved in successfully understanding natural speech. For example, I found that changes in how loud our voice is, known as prosody, and also the sounds of speech themselves are essential. And when the brain pays more attention to those changes in loudness, people tend to also do better at language tasks. This suggests that prosody could be a useful sign or something called a biomarker of how well someone processes speech. These findings have potential for clinical applications, especially for diagnosing and treating aphasia. The condition can be treated, but early diagnosis is essential as is targeted therapy to address the language functions that have broken down. To sum up, my doctoral thesis not only uncovered core mechanisms of how speech is understood, but also identified potential biomarkers that could guide new clinical interventions.